What's going on guys, Atlers here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Base Wars commentary, and this commentary is going to be about the update, and what is going to be coming from that update, and specifically I'd like to just say, what was D8 thinking, like I just want to ask D8, what was he thinking whenever he was making this update, like, what was going through his mind, he was, he was just like, Hey, I should make players have insane health and insane damage, and that would just make the game a whole lot better. Like, no, it's not going to make it a whole lot better. It actually was making it a lot worse, and a lot of people don't like the update. So anyways, I have little specific things that I'd like to talk about, you know, about the update, and that's pretty much uh, just the damage and the health. Uh, you know, I'm okay with having that extension to the base. I think it's a little, uh, ground-sided rather than an aerial. So you can't see, like, I'm trying to attack this guy, but it's, like, such a hard target to hit, especially in third person. Um, you know, I, I don't really like the idea of having insanely large amounts of health. Like, the Rifle X hasn't, like, every weapon has been buffed. And, like, some of the weapons, like the B BW Rifle X, has not been buffed, and it's now a two-shot on Uber. Like, that is insane, and it's a body shot. Like, Rifle X used to be the most powerful weapon. I mean, it still is, but, it, like, compared to what damage it could actually do to people, like, it would one-shot Shielded Suit, it would one-shot Uber. It was really hard to earn, though. You know, like, B BW weapons have been hard to earn, especially if you have all 14 of them. You know, very few people have all 14 and tier 4. And those people deserve those weapons. They need, they deserve them. And maybe, like, you know, LMGX is extremely easy to get. 9 weapons, 250 kills, like, that's super easy. But maybe, like, just maybe making, like, BW weapons a little bit harder to earn because a lot of, I see a lot of people have BW weapons and not a lot of them aren't really, you know, they have like 10,000 kills and they have a BW weapon. My first BW weapon was at 16,000 kills and that was at a 487 and that was an insane because I saw someone using the 487. I've never seen someone using the 487. I was like, whoa, that's insane. I want that weapon. It's so cool. And then I found out about the Scatter X. I was like, oh my gosh, I need that shotgun, and then I found out with the Air X, and I was just like, you know what, I just might as well just go for all the BW weapons. And then the hardest grind, which I think he should actually add back to make it more difficult, was the Devastator and Golden grind. That was insane. Um, now it's really easy because Explosive have been, has been buffed. I mean, and now AA turrets are now a three shot, you know. Usually they'd be a two shot, but... The thing is, with dev, it's ex really hard to earn, like, I mean, with my potato internet, it looked like that exploded, but, and, I, you know, I fly up in the air, but that's just probably a glitch. Um, but anyways, you know, I just think that it's a little, e like, he made it easier to get BW weapons because a lot of things have been buffed, and, now, don't get me wrong, it's not, I'm not saying that everything has been buffed and no health has been buffed, I'm just saying, like, why does he need to increase health? Why does he need to buff up weapons? Like, what was wrong with just regular? I mean, that was pretty fun. Maybe you could make Uber a little less health because it's kind of OP. But then again, people pay for it. But then you also have your pay-to-win uh, pay people, you know, extreme VIP, epic VIP, and they abuse the crap out of it. I mean, I've seen countless number of people spam epic sniper CQC, and they don't know how to use that sniper because they're not used to spamming an auto sniper like you know they can't even kill anyone with trying to spam that and you know it's just like why does he need to do this update like what's what's so bad about the other past things like i mean i remember when you know tier 4 used to be having explosive bullets now i could see why he would remove that because i was going to make a trolling video of Sephiro and i um you know, trolling our teammates by shooting them constantly with our explosive bullets and them lagging out. But I, I can see why uh, it was removed because, you know, a lot of explosions on people that don't have the best computers in the world, uh, you know, will lag a lot, you know. So whenever a Vortex takes off and 
Sephiroth and I spam the crap out of it with tier 4, it is going to freeze. It doesn't make sense why he needs to make this update, I just don't get it. But uh, enough with that, uh, I'm going to be talking about the future update, which is, uh, I think it has been leaked, I don't know, I've been seeing a lot of talk on Skype, uh, but anyways, it's a update with like a, a dense forest, a quote-unquote dense forest, it will have protection from aerial vehicles such as the tier 4 monstrosity monstrosity uh i'm reading this right now there's gonna be uavs a uh, motorbike a motorbike what uav why do we need a uav what's the, what's the point of a uav i think the people that would only use uavs is probably like the guys that think the repair tool is a weapon or something like that but Enough with that rant, I just don't like the update, I don't think you guys would like the update as well. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, be sure to leave a like of this Base Wars commentary, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.